This weekend, MHS hosted the Southern Regional Water Polo Championship. And after three days of intense competition, Mason's boys and girls water polo teams both qualified for the state tournament. I'm here with Mark Sullivan, head coach of the girls and boys varsity water polo teams. Coach, the boys, they're the last team to make it into the state tournament. What do you think they have to do in order to win next weekend? Well, we, if we play like we did today, we're going to be in great shape next weekend. There's no doubt about it, because we can compete with any of the teams they're going to be playing against next weekend. So I think they're going to do fine. Greg Gruzak scored 39 goals in four games this weekend. Do you think he carried your team in a way? Well, obviously the scoring, but you know, it, it takes a team to win, and obviously six other players out there definitely help with that. So Greg's our leading scorer, he's our go-to guy, but we've got six other really strong players who are out there with him too. All right, so the girls are going in ranked second for the South and States. How do you think they're going to compare against the other regions? Well, the North region, we've actually beaten everybody in the North region this year, so we're pretty confident we're going to be able to go through the North and then come back and play UA like we played today in the regional final. So we're, we're pretty optimistic with that. So do you think this weekend any of your girls stepped up the way Greg did on the boys' team? Uh, I, I definitely think so. I mean, Maddie Franzoni really stepped up for us this weekend. Molly Huff continues to play a great job in the goal. Alyssa Sinchek defensively has just been doing awesome. Megan Wolf steps up. Marine Sullivan provides great leadership out there and directs traffic. So really all of them just really played well. MHS will be hosting the state water polo tournament next weekend. For some teams, the season is over, but Mason still has one final push. I'm Gibby Bois, NBC Sports.